Once again, skipping all the introductions so we can keep these videos short and sweet. What if I can't do what's on the whiteboard or what if what is on the whiteboard is too easy? All right, this is real simple. When you're first getting started, this is a, how we customize. So we'll come over here. Uh, you and I will come over here together and we will talk about why we're customizing. Like for example, right here, I've already got a customization right here. Uh, for the females, the wishbone is just an awkward exercise. And so the females just do a, uh, a different type of exercise called a sideways monster walk right there. And we'll just come over here and we'll, we'll just edit from there basically. So if, uh, if you are not so like say a younger athlete coming in and they're not quite ready to reverse lunge with the barbell, we just come over here and, uh, we just do a goblet squat. So we'll take another ink, sometimes a different color, uh, or whatever. And we'll just come over here and I'll be like, okay, yours is in green. You are goblet squatting or goblet reverse lunge. I'm sorry. Uh, with a uh, light kettlebell or a dumbbell, which basically is you, you just will take a light dumbbell, hold it right here under your chin and then do the exact same movement. It's the same movement. It's just a lighter load. And uh, that way you really hammer down that movement pattern, which is really important for your health and for your performance. And then over time, we move you up to a barbell. And then uh, same thing with the, like, say, for instance, right now, the volleyball girls, they are in season. Uh, and so, for instance, right here on these depth drops on the, this is a speed day. So there's a lot of jumping going on, sideways jumping, things like that. I don't want them jumping in season. So, uh, for instance, this jump slam right here, we'll just take the jump out for them and they'll just slam. They'll, we'll that out and they will just slam the med ball so we just basically it's real simple a lot of this stuff is all the same it's just you know uh we just progress things so that's how we do it and we'll just do that and, and same thing for if you if what the is on the board is too easy if you need a customization uh by the time you get to where you need stuff to be a little bit harder you will probably have moved to a customized sheet that's in your folder i just honestly i don't customize for everybody right off the bat because you don't know if they're going to stick around or not you know you never know how committed people are their schedules may get in the way some people just don't want to work and so i'm not it's it's very time consuming for me to actually do that and so i usually wait about six months or even more depending on the age of the athlete before we start customizing on paper because that's very time consuming and uh, we just kind of go from there. So hopefully that makes sense. Ask questions if you have them. Thanks.